Salvete omnes. This is Abbey Latin Liber Primus, Chapter 8. This is Exercise A of Chapter 8, to be completed after going over the video lesson on this chapter's morphology concerning the perfect, pluperfect, and future perfect tenses. In Exercise A, we are to give the perfect, pluperfect, and future perfect forms of the following verbs. So make sure you know the principal parts. They're right there. Appello, appellare, appellawi, appellatus, which means to call by name or to name. So how do we form this in the perfect tense, Latin's perfect tense, corresponding to English's simple past or punctual past? So we go to the third principal part, third principal part. The perfect, pluperfect, and future perfect tenses are formed from the third principal part, and we chop off the I to get the verb's perfect stem, appellav. We write that form in all of the blanks, and then we simply add the perfect tense personal endings, which are e, isti, it, imus, istis, erunt, and we get appellawi. Appellawisti, appellawit, appellawimus, appellawistis, appellawerunt. For the pluperfect tense, we once again want to go to the third principal part of the verb, because that is where the perfect stem is found. Chop off the I. Chop off the I. That is the verb's perfect stem, and you write that in all of the blanks. Then we're going to add the tense marker, era, era, and then the personal endings, m, s, t, mus, tis, unt. Appellavaram, appellavaras, appellavarat. Appellavaramus, appellavaratis, appellavarant. This corresponds to English's past completed. We use the helping verb had. So I had named. I had called by name. Appellavaram. And then in the future perfect tense, corresponding to English's future completed tense. Once again, third principal part, chop off the I. That's the verb's perfect stem. Write it in the blanks, and then we add the tense marker. For most forms, it's going to be R, but remember for the first person singular, you want to go ahead and write ero, ero, appellavaro. And then add the uh, personal endings for the rest of the forms. S, T, mus, tis, unt. Appellavaro, appellavares, appellavaret, appellaverimus, appellaveretus, appellaverent. Optime, that finishes off appello. Let's move on to cogito, cogitare, cogitavi, cogitatus. So for the perfect tense, third principal part, chop off the I and write cogitav, cogitav, in all of the blanks, and then add the appropriate endings, e isti it, imus istis erot. So we get cogitavi, cogitavisti, cogitavit, cogitavimus, cogitavistis, cogitaverot. For the pluperfect tense of cogito, you want the perfect stem, which is going to be third principal part, chop off the I, cogitab. Go ahead and write cogitab for all the blanks for the pluperfect tense. And then you can go ahead and add the tense marker era, E-R-A, era, and then the personal endings M-S-T, mustisunt. Or you can just write eram, eras, erat, eramus, eratus, erat. So we get cogitavaram, 
Kogitawaras, Kogitawarat, Kogitawaramos, Kogitawaratis, Kogitawarant. Noctime, future perfect, future perfect, third principle part. Chop off the eye, get the perfect stem, Kogitawa, add Kogitawa to each blank. Then you can add ero to get kogitawero for the first person singular. If you want, you can add ere, E-R-I, the tense marker for all the rest of them. And then st, mus, tis, unt. Or you can just remember ero, eris, erit, erimus, eritis, erint, E-R-I-N-T, erint for the third person plural. To get kogitawero, kogitawaris, kogitawerit. Kogitawerimus, Kogitaweritis, Kogitawerit. Optime. Let's move on to libero, liberare, liberawi, liberatus, to free, to set free. We want the perfect tense, so third principle part, chop off the I. Liberab is the perfect stem, and then add the endings. Liberawi, liberawisti. Liberawit, liberawimus, liberawistis, liberawerot. For the pluperfect, the pluperfect, third principle part, chop off the I, liberaw, and then add the endings. Pluperfect, liberaweram. Liberawaras, liberawarat, liberawaramos, liberawaratis, liberawarat. And these verbs are getting fun. And then the future perfect, future perfect of libero. Go to the third principle part, chop off the I once again, get the perfect stem liberaw, and then add the appropriate endings. Liberawero, liberaweres, liberaweret, liberawerimus, liberaweretis, liberawerent. Let's move on to sto, stare, steti, status, to stand. So make sure you know the principal parts. Check out what sto does. The third principal part is not the expected stawi. <gasps> it's steady. Do also does something similar. It's not dawi for the third principle part do, it's dedi. So the perfect stem is going to be stet. Stet. You're going to write stet a whole lot. So stet, 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 and then add the endings. Steti, statisti, stetit, statimus, statistis. Steterunt, steterunt. For the pluperfect, stet is the perfect stem. You chop the I off the third principle part. Steteram, steteras, steterat, steteramus, steteratis, steterant. And then for the future perfect tense, once again, Perfect stem, stet, and add ero, eris, erit, erimus, eritis, erit. Stetero, steteris, steterit, steterimus, steteritis, steterit. And finally, sum, esse, fui, futurus. Once again, even if the verb is irregular, it's only irregular in the present, the imperfect, and the future tenses. If you go to the third principle part, fui, chop off the I, foo, I pity him. Foo is going to be the perfect stem for all of these. It's totally regular, even though it's an irregular verb everywhere else. It's totally normal and regular, just like every other verb in the perfect, pluperfect, and future perfect tenses. So fui, fuisti. Fuit, fuimus, 
fuistis, fuerunt. The pluperfect is fueram, fueras, fuerat, fueramus, fueratis, fuerant. And the future perfect is fuero, fueris, fuerit, fuermus, fueritis, fuerent. Optime, very well done. That wraps it up for exercise A. You are now ready to move on to exercise B. Wale te omnes.